Hello and welcome to uh, Iceland's Strongest Man. Uh, the longest reigning strongman contest in Iceland. Uh, it's been going since 85. So <laughs> it's uh, kind of the title every Icelandic strongman wants. Uh, with me now, the co-host, Thomas Darri, uh, multiple powerlifting champion and uh, multiple podium finisher in Icelandic strongman contests. Thank you for having me. Very excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, we have a great show for you guys. Uh, the next two days, we're going to find out who is the next Iceland Strongest Man. And uh, we have excellent six Icelandic strongmen that are going to compete. Uh, some old faces, uh, some new faces wanting to uh, show their merit. And uh, we're going to find out uh, what they're capable of right now. And uh, we're going to find out uh, who the athletes are right now. First we have uh, Hilmar, a client of yours yeah, actually. Yeah, a client of mine. Started in Strongman just uh, seven months ago. Has made huge progress. He's a, he's a tall guy and uh, he's progressing really, really mm, fast. Really fast. He's a great thrower. We have a throwing event mm -hmm. uh, this weekend and uh, his deadlift is, is coming, coming up. up very nicely. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, his moving event, he, he's kind of tall, but he, he moves really well. Yeah, moves fast, moves sm smoothly. Okay, that's, uh, that's awesome to see. Let's uh, see the next guy. Christian Haraldsson, uh, another tall guy, 192 centimeters. He's, uh, he's uh, as many say, the perfect height for strongman. But this is the guy to beat. Mm -hmm. Although this is the one. Yeah, although he's not the reigning Iceland Strongest Man champion, he, he's been winning the last two events in Iceland, the uh, Westward Vikings, yep. Strongest Man in Iceland, yep. and he's been uh, really, really dominant. Yeah, and very dedicated. He wants that number one spot. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and I mean, uh, uh, he, he was your old training partner. Yep. And uh, maybe still, still training is. partners at heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. And uh, I mean, this is the guy that everybody's... Uh, taping to be like uh, the number one spot this weekend let's see the next uh, athlete next one uh, we have christian paul artnason uh, one of the oh. lightest comp uh, <laughs> athlete there yeah, the lightest one this weekend he's uh maybe not the best thrower he has a, a great deadlift very, very good deadlift and uh i mean his natural stones mm -hmm. with also, uh, yeah. yeah really good so we're gonna see some uh, some nice things from him there but uh, let's see the next one uh pot lawson uh, old uh, old face very experienced in the sport yeah po possibly with the most experience here uh, not even possibly he has Fact. the most experience yeah, yeah he he was uh, pretty dominant in the scene as a power lifter i mean he has a uh, thousand kilograms total, mm -hmm. so he's a he's an elite powerlifter, and uh, you saw his name frequently over the years uh, in powerlifting competitions abroad and in and in Iceland. And uh, he's dabbled, uh, dabbled and not dabbled in in strongman over the years, and, and has uh, two uh, second places, only only second to Hafthor mm -hmm. Björnsson, mm -hmm. in the in the competition in 2013 and 14. So. And we got to talk about it, the static strength from Pot It's Potlosum. amazing. Yeah. It's huge. I'm, I'm, I want to see the 400 kilogram yeah, deadlift. Yeah, be awesome. Yeah, we have that event uh, later coming up. Uh, mm. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to do. But let's meet the next athlete. Yeah, Sirion Gunnarsson. This one, you know newcomer. him a little bit. Yeah. yeah, he's a newcomer. He was in second place at the uh, Iceland's Strongest Newcomer, which was three weeks ago, mm -hmm. a meet that I held. And yeah, so only started strongman in maybe mo a month ago, but super strong. Comes from Olympic weightlifting, so he has the explosive power. Yeah, I mean, Olympic weightlifting is uh, a really good uh, basis to st start yeah, strongman. Definitely. I mean, I mean the the power clean the mm -hmm. everything everything uh, is really good uh, when you compare the two so uh, i mean is that it do we have one more the reigning defending defending champion Iceland's strongest man stefan karel torvason 
son to the legendary Torve Olafsson and uh, claimed the title in 21. He's uh, the tallest athlete here, so uh, he's... He's coming around really nicely, uh, emerging from this uh, like uh, shadow of his dad, if you, if you might say that. <laughs> Torve has one title and his son has one, so mm -hmm. they're tied right now. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see if he can uh, challenge uh, Christian, Christian, Christian yeah. this uh, this weekend because it's a uh, it's a tough competition. It's it going to be a tough competition. Yeah, yeah. I mean he has really good throwing his deadlift has come a long way mm -hmm. since we first saw him like emerge like three or four years ago mm -hmm. his uh, moving events really, really good. good really fast what's really really nice to see what's really nice to see about uh, those two is uh, they have few weaknesses mm -hmm. yeah and that yeah. that's the best best strongman there is mm -hmm. but we're getting footage from selfos where our first event is the truck pool and uh, here we see a few of the contestants. There's Eithor Melstad. Oh, he's gone off screen now. Uh, he is actually the referee yeah. this weekend. Can't compete because he's uh, injured. But uh, we didn't forget one athlete that is uh, Theodor Maur. He has uh, fallen ill. So mm -hmm. we sent our best regards to him. Hopefully he'll uh, be back in the gym as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Look at those handsome fellas. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We see that uh, Scarpion, he's possibly uh, helping out the guys there. We see uh, Sirion, we saw Hilmar there. And uh, last year's reigning strongest newcomer, yeah. Robert Rittweger. Yeah, we saw him. Stefan Karel, Christian Jón and uh, Paul, the square meter, Logason. Let's also mention that Hilmar is the reigning champion of Iceland's strongest newcomer. He won that meet. Yeah, and uh, he <coughs> did it quite uh, he dominantly. Won, yeah, he won all the events equal in one, one event. Ah. It's going to be really interesting to see how, uh, how the experience of uh, Paul Logason it's going to help him here, especially in the in the truck pool, because uh, if we if we check out the truck pool and uh, we have a 22 ton truck to pull, and it's uh, a cement truck, so it's uh, it's really heavy. And I myself have pulled in that track, and it has a s slight incline, about 10 to 12 meters in, and and it gets really heavy then. So I mean. Are we talking about like the heavier guys? Yeah, they have a little bit of advantage, yeah. But w the, the guys have to keep the truck running. If they stop, then they're going to waste so much energy to get it going again. But in that incline, the, the truck might stop. Yeah, and that's uh, something you, you have. we have to watch closely what happens. And uh, we have the starting order, and... Uh, and uh, we have the starting order, it's Sigurjón starting, and uh, Christian Haralds, second Christian Pautl, the third, Hilmar, then Stefan Karel, and lastly, but not least, Pautl Loason. So it's going to be really nice for Stefan Karel to, to start the first event really late in the in the round so uh, he's going to know what exactly he needs to do but of course they uh, have to finish the course in as short of a time as possible and if we uh, if we check out like uh, the equipment you use. Mm -hmm. We've we've done this a loads of times. Yeah. Have you used climbing shoes? Yeah, I have used. It's way better than any other shoes in this event. You get so much grip, and you don't slide. You're less likely to fall down, and we're just way better in every, every way. I mean, we we started to see it in like uh, world strongest man in like '92 maybe. Magnus or Magnuson, one of the pioneers using climbing shoes in in uh, the truck pool and and. And, uh, I mean, he won that event many, many times. So, uh, it's, it's
it's possibly the best equipment you can have for yeah. the truck pull. You yeah. I mean, you you don't use belts because no. uh, you have to get, be able to breathe. Yeah, you wanna wanna get as much oxygen into the into the body as possible because you start. Uh, Okay, well, sounds like we're gonna start the competition right now. And as I said, Sigurion is gonna start the party. Gonna be interesting <laughs> to see the, sa the, the second competition. He starts the truck pull. This is uh, a lot of uh, pressure. He's never done the truck pull before. So it's gonna be exciting to watch. And we can see introducing the athletes. Christian Haralds, Christian Pauls, I mean, he, him, and Pot Lorson, are they, are they equally as tall? Uh, they might be. One seventy-five centimeters, I believe. Reigning champion. Ring champion, always uh, a crowd pleaser. Yeah. And the experience. As uh, as you, if you if you know Icelandic Kjalti Usus from the past, he, he's telling about uh, Pat Lawson. I mean, he was competing way back in uh, 2013. I mean, it doesn't sound like a long time ago, but in strongman years, there's a, there's a lot of wear and tear, but. Mm -hmm. We saw Paul Tlorson take a, a big break. He's coming back and possibly stronger. Yeah, I hope so. Sigurjón getting ready. And you said, never done the truck pull before. Never, never done it. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. He's weighing about uh, 120 kilograms. Yep. So he doesn't have a lot of uh, body weight advantage. But does he have climbing I, I shoes on? I think not. I think there are some CrossFit shoes. Okay, that that's... Uh, I've done I've done it in uh, noble cross of shoes. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's definitely not climbing shoes because of the grip, mm -hmm. but uh, it helps. It it has good pressure on the on the sole and uh, good grip. Mm -hmm. And here you can see the harness harness you have to wear to be able to uh, pull it. That's Skarpia, and he came second place in Iceland's strongest newcomer last year. No, third, third place. place. Third, third place. place. Sorry. The two Roberts were in first place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We want to see Sirion go as uh, closely to the to the ground as possible, but he might be standing too tall right now. Yeah. But the truck is moving, moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. He has to squat it forward. Come on, Sirion. So. What he's doing now, little steps, he should do that when the truck is moving. Yeah. First he has to squat it forward, maybe one or two times, get it moving, and then take the small steps. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you can see he's struggling a little bit. He got it moving a little bit, but there is the first incline in the yeah. course, and and it, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. And as I was so saying... So draining. Yeah. Come on, squat it forward. He has to start it all over again yeah. right now. You see, he's not squatting it, so he's get just getting power from one foot at a time. Yeah. Kjalti giving him some tips. Giving him some uh, nice tips to... Uh, he's done. Yeah, he's done. Continuous strain for uh, about a minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's hard for the body. Yeah. Christian Haraldsson next up. This truck is going to be moving fast. Yeah, now. we're going to see night and day before uh, Christian Haraldsson, possibly the favorite here. It's, it's, it, He's it's a fan favorite, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Christian Haraldsson and, and Stefan Karel, the, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the two best truck pullers in this field right now. Yep. Of course, we have a wild card pot Lawson that we haven't seen in uh, ages, but <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Every moving event, Christian Haraldsson seems to seems to.
be able to use his uh, athletic prowess body weight to uh, to go really really fast and you can also see when Christian comes into screen that he's so fit yeah there's no extra body mass it's just you know, almost pure muscle 140 42 yeah. kilograms now at his uh, absolute uh, peak, peak. <laughs> yes he, he has peak performance now but I, I believe he was like uh, in nine uh, 2019 he was about yeah, 170 yeah, yeah 140 now yeah and much, much stronger now yeah look at those arms he's the, he's, he's focused take this, yeah focused something uh, he wants this has to wait for the whistle to start but he ha he is allowed to to pull out all the slack from the rope to uh, get as best start and there we can see We're off. look at that good start moving He's straight moving away it. squatting at forward first and then small steps good small steps and He's wearing uh, climbing shoes stumbling a little bit but uh, it's moving nicely yeah. Yeah. now he has just to keep the momentum going Right here stop it. yeah that's the incline yeah that's the incline and it's really hard yeah now so now he's probably just gonna squat it the whole way yeah look at that good for him it's the first event that he's uh, doing it in but he has to try his hardest because uh, he doesn't know what uh, Hilmar, Stefan Karel, Pautl and uh, Christian Pautler are gonna do but he did not finish the course I think in maybe what last two years there haven't been anyone who finished. No, it, it's a it's a really hard <laughs> course <laughs> and uh, a really heavy truck from uh, Stepestein. Mm -hmm. And you can also see the all four axles in the truck are down, so that's more contact point and it makes the truck heavier. Yeah, it's uh, it's extremely heavy. It's going to be interesting to see how far Christian Haralds did. Sigurion went uh, 2.33 meters in the in the first. They're probably talking about that brutal incline over there. Yeah. <laughs> Christian or Haraldson, unofficial, 9.28 meters. Awesome. How long is the track? 15. Uh, the track uh, it's 15 or 20 meters. Yeah. Possibly, I, I, I think 15, mm. since uh, he, he went really far. Yeah. Or is it 20, because this tire has to go over there. It's the first tire. Oh. Yeah. First tire over is, uh, is the finishing. Starts on the first tire. Then you can, uh, there you can see Eitho Melstad, Willis, Jokicic. Hopefully I didn't slaughter <laughs> that last <laughs> name, but... I believe I did. Okay. <laughs> Christian Pottl. Christian Pottl is up. The lightest one here. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Because body weight definitely makes a difference yeah. in this uh, in this event. And he has uh, all 100 of, mm -hmm. <laughs> of it <laughs> to try to... Uh, Sigurion weighs about 120, 120. Ki kilos. Christian Pottl is 100. He rocks around 98 to 100 kilograms. So it's gonna it's gonna be I, is it more of a of like uh, an arm exercise actually for him because he has to he's pull, pull a lot of weight. Yeah. yeah. But he's light, but he makes up for it in strength. Stefan Karel now uh, evaluating what he has to do in this event to. Uh, succeed he has 9.28 meters to uh, to win and but i believe christian potl is aiming here for of course the finish but mm -hmm. it was it, it it would be really nice if he if he if he would uh, beat the distance from christian Hartz. yeah
Og vonandi fáum við fleiti stjörnu hérna. En við erum að búa líka til íslenska stjörnu. Adjusting the harness because, I mean, Christian Potley is uh, not only the lightest, but uh, <laughs> the circumference of uh, his body is just a lot less than Christian yeah. Harald, so <laughs> it's not one-to-one -one here. <laughs> no climbing shoes, I believe, for uh, Christian Potl. Focused, ready uh, to pull. All right. Ready to uh, pull, pull all the slack from the rope. I don't believe he did so. I believe he's wearing Timbaland shoes, which is uh, commonly used. Okay, the truck is moving. Moving decently. Decently, yeah. And he has to give his all right and now. There we see the incline. The truck yeah. is starting to slow down. And he slows down a lot. Still moving, slowly but surely. So he's uh, getting a few. He has to start start again. Yep. Squat, Squat down. Forward, yeah, like there that. you go. Squat down again, get some grip. Every centimeter matters. Okay, he's out. He, he's out. I believe he definitely won uh, Sigurjón, yeah, but I think so. nowhere near Christian Jón Haralds. Hilmar up next. Hilmar, I believe, won 44 kilograms, so he's yep. uh, about the heaviest in, in, the, in the show. Mm -hmm. Hilmar has a background in CrossFit, so he should be able to push himself a lot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, CrossFit is uh, a it's lot mentally challenging. Yeah, really mentally challenging, and and it's gonna help him in uh, about all of the all of the strongman events because it's it's mentally grueling, and you have to go mind over matter, yeah. and and that's. Uh, you gain that from uh, CrossFit. And we can see Christian Pautl went 3.73 meters. Really heavy truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hilmar getting ready. I believe this is the second or third time Hilmar is pulling a truck. Okay, it's going to be interesting. I mean, the most important part in every truck pull, in my opinion, is you have to get a good start. Yeah, start and get the momentum. Yeah, get the momentum and the rest will figure itself out because... I I personally do do poo, two like uh, pump starts, two squats yeah. in the beginning just to be absolutely sure that I get uh, get the car moving a lot and then the small steps. It would be helping Hilmar here if he if he would do the same because he has some important points to make up here if uh, if he can beat uh, uh, Christian Poutland and. Uh, and Sigurjón here, adjusting the harness to uh, maximize. Look how focused he is. I believe this Hilmar is uh, kind of a wildcard contestant here. Yeah. And uh, the sheer amount of... Uh, The sheer amount of uh, how much he has progressed in a small amount of time is uh, it's really nice. Yeah, amazing. Have to pull all of the slack from the rope, all of it. Mm -hmm. 
And away we go. There we go. One more. And it's uh, starting now. Are those climbing shoes? Yep. They are. Oh, they oh. still slipped. It's not good. I want to see him more closer to the ground. Oh. Start again. Start again. Might be standing too tall here. There we go. A little bit closer to the ground, Tilmar. And all of the moving parts have to be moving. Stumbling a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. He has to go more, more forward. Lean more forward. He's getting really tired. And Tilmar done. I mean, would you reckon that would be in between? Did he beat Christian Potl? I am not sure. Christian Potl went 3.73 meters. Next up, Stefan Karel Torvason reigning. Iceland's strongest man won the event by 0 0.5 points over Eithor Melstad last year. So he's going to want to definitely beat Christian Jón Haraldsson here. His uh, biggest threat to yeah. claim the title from him. These guys are going to fight. Yeah. It's going to be a mental battle between them. Christian already gone and... Uh, with 9.28 meters and uh, I just got the tally Hilmar went to 4.42 meters so he got Christian Park in the first event trying to secure lot of points so he's uh, Hilmar currently in second place Christian Haralds in uh, first place but uh, up to go uh, Stefan Karel and uh, Paul Lawson, the square meter. And there we go, Stefan Karel. Squatting it forward two times. Just like TJ. <laughs> okay, it's moving nicely. I believe Christian Jón was a little bit faster but time doesn't really matter here because he has to beat the 9.28 meters from Christian Jón. Stefan Karel doing his absolute best. Well, there's the incline. And now he starts to struggle. Now it's just fight for every centimeter. Use all of the time. He's done. And he's done. I believe he was a little bit shorter than uh, I think so. Yeah. It's a question if he's, he hurt himself or just uh, fatigued. Because this event, uh, I personally think this event is the most grueling for the body. Yeah. Continuous strain for like uh, possibly 60 seconds and uh, it's just so hard. I've crawled away almost on four, four legs away from this event. It's so tough. And I mean, of course, you don't... They're, they're not even finishing, so they're using up all their time just to try to finish. So it's 60 seconds of continuous strain and you can't move the thing. So mm -hmm. that's annoying. That's very annoying. <laughs> Stefan right. Karel Torvason currently in second place, 6.7 meters. And Paul Lorazon. It's a decent gap from Christian to Stefan. Look at those huge calves. 
he is he's called to square meter because uh, I mean look at him he's equal on all sides <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, extremely strong and as we were telling you about him experience gloves yeah. gloves climbing shoes pink climbing shoes this man has style Look at that great start two Scoring stops three, three, times. three times and it's moving, moving well i believe that's moving faster than christian young current first place what is uh pot lawson gonna do here Straining. Brutal incline. Good technique to get it started. Squatting and putting his hips through so he can move. Searching for that first place from Christian Jón. 9.28 meters. He's getting a, bit, a little bit fatigued here. He, just he is stop. not quitting. And there Give we go. All. How far did Pat Lawson go? Pat Lawson, 36 years old. Oldest contestant and uh, a crowd favorite, obviously. <laughs> and uh, Pat Lawson just waiting for the numbers because it's going to be interesting where he's going to stack up in between. If Pat Lawson comes between Christian Jón and Stefan Karel, it's He's already made it a little bit better for Christian Jón in, in the future events. Pat Lawson, third place, truck pool. Third place in truck pool. How many meters did he get? And the next event for us is uh, at Three o'clock. The numbers are. Next event is at uh, three o'clock. The deadlift. So that's going to be interesting to see if. Uh, I mean, we have some clear favorites in the deadlift. Mm -hmm. Todd Lawson. Yeah, he has the the biggest total in uh, in powerlifting uh, f of all the contestants he has the biggest deadlift both raw and with straps and, and a suit and of course we're doing straps and a suit just strongman rules now and uh, he's gonna grab some points here i believe he did uh, 360 for two reps yeah in practice yeah uh, and uh, if i might add uh, quite easily yeah so it's gonna be interesting to see if he's gonna chase that 400 mm -hmm. Because uh, not a lot of Icelanders have pulled 400 kilos. It's it's uh, it's uh, Hafthor and and a couple of uh, others. Yeah, Benedict three guys, Manuson. I think. Benedict Magnusson, Hafthor Julius Bjornsson, Julian, and Julian, yeah. Julian uh, from IPF. Yeah. Extremely good deadlifter, if I might add. But uh, that's going to start at three o'clock Greenwich main time. So uh, in the meantime, we're going to say uh, goodbye and uh, see you see you then. But Hjalti is going to take a uh, uh, nice interview with the winner, Christian Jón Haraldsson, and we're going to listen to that. Christian, congratulations on winning in the first event. How hard was this? This was uh, the hardest truck pull I've ever pulled, and uh, I was, wasn't sure where I was going to place, but I'm happy to place first. Now you have won every competition you have en entered this summer, so you're going to keep on doing that? Yes, that's my plan. This is the final uh, competition I, after I have to win, so I hope I get this one. 
Uh, the events, upcoming events, any weak events, any good events? Uh, they're all pretty good for me, but uh, the forward hold, I'm, I'm a bit scared of that. Okay, congratulations and uh, good luck. Thank you. Love that guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, what's not to love? He, he has a uh, good attitude. Uh, he's been uh, training really well for the past four or five years just to be at this point this summer winning all the events he's entered and th this is the next target mm -hmm. so uh, he started out well with uh, 9.28 meters beating out uh, stefan Karel with 6.7 meters no one finishing no one finishing it's a brutal brutal track yeah brutal really track really heavy track and an incline yeah uh, it, it's just uh it's really hard so, uh, but now we're gonna switch to uh, commercials and uh, we're gonna go live again at uh, three o'clock Greenwich main time with the deadlifts uh, and uh, all the discussion around that. Thank you. You like my beard? So do I. Curtis of the Beardstruggle.com. This is right. It's more than just total body fuel. It's total push yourself beyond the limits fuel. It's total you got this. Ain't nothing gonna hold you back fuel. From nine to five or five to nine, it's more than a pick me up. It's a jump start your day. Get me through the night, kicking the can. With all the goods your body needs to crush your goals. So you can focus, boost, hydrate, and recover. This is Rain, Total Body Fuel. It's not Jungpust, it's scare. You count it all. The reps. Your grit. The grind. Your belief. The dose. Focusing on what matters. Knowing that you must squeeze the most from every day, every step, and every moment. Make it count.
Ever since he started using the Beard Struggle products, he he's starting to believe he's an actual Viking. Yeah, this one's my favorite. It reminds me of my first raid. You've been in there for an hour. Go away. Hey, hey, you want you you, you want to be a Viking? Try this out. So this is an interview. And. Skier have less lactose than yogurt. Thor's skier goes through ultra filtration, giving it more protein and less lactose than Greek yogurt, making it easier on the stomach. I should know, I used to eat two and a half pounds of skier a day. Hello, welcome back to Iceland's Strongest Man. Uh, we uh, finished the truck pull where uh, Christian Jón Haraldsson is in the lead and uh, going into the deadlifts has uh, a good chance now to, to make it a little bit uh, longer. But mm -hmm. uh, we're in Selfos, we're going to deadlift, so uh, I believe the athletes have done a little bit of uh, warm-up, so, so we should be ready to uh, start the deadlift soon. But uh, we started 270 kilos. 270, yes. Uh, a normal weight for uh, Icelandic strongman competition to start there. Everybody, everybody has to do 270 uh, to start with, at least. Uh, you get three attempts. S excuse me. They that, can that's choose. Yeah, they can choose. They yeah. can choose. Yeah. They, they can they can skip the lift or do it yeah. if they want. But it starts with 270, yeah. and uh, then we go to 300. Then 320, 330, 40, 50, etc. Uh, all the way up to 400. I, I hope we're gonna see 400 now. I hope so, but uh, there are no, nothing. Uh, there, w there's one guy here that can't do it. Uh, definitely, um, it's gonna be interesting to see if if he's gonna if he's gonna try for it. But uh, let's just uh, switch over to uh, Selfos, beautiful Selfos, where the first two events are taking place there you can see Stefan Karel warming up and of course you Easy. can see you can see he's wearing the canvas suit and uh, figure eight figure yeah. eight straps I believe this is the only Icelandic strongman competition that allows figure eight yeah, straps. I think so, yes. yeah. Yeah. so uh, that's gonna be a little bit of an advantage uh, have you used figure eight no I haven't tried it myself but uh, you can you can squeeze maybe a little bit out of it uh, more than uh, the regular straps. Yeah, but you're completely stuck to the bar with the figure yeah. straps. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, if it's going to help out a little bit. Uh, of course, you could uh, see from uh, World's Strongest Man when Novikov used the figure eight straps when yeah. he <laughs> he almost didn't grip the bar. <laughs> only the fingertips Gained were touching. Gained a couple of centimeters. I mean, everything helps. Yep. If it's uh, if it's not banned, it's allowed. That mm -hmm. is uh, strongman rules. <laughs> uh, uh, and you can see the figure eight straps. Then you can see the canvas suits. Uh, Scarpien was there helping out uh, Christian Jón, removing the the straps from the canvas suit. That that helps out a lot. Yeah, definitely. Adds maybe 20, 30 kilos to a lift. And in these kinds of competitions, that that is. Uh, that is uh, the lifeline between a couple of points and no points. Yep. So that's uh, that's going to be nice. I believe Segurion maybe doesn't have one, but all of the other contestants 
hafið. Já. Kristján Harlds has one, Kristján Páll has one, Hilmar has one, Stefan Karl and Páll all have canvas suits. Uh, I believe his best deadlift from Sigurjón, he's gonna, he's gonna start out the, the he's round dropping. He's probably going to go for the 270. His best lift is 290, which he did in the Strongest Newcomer a couple of weeks ago. But he told me he wanted that 300 lift. That's going to be yeah. nice to see because that's the that's the next jump. And I I think a couple of the guys are going to go for the 270. Uh, don't believe Christian Pautl is going to go for it, but uh, Hilmar mm -hmm. is uh, possibly going to go for the 270. And uh, Sigurjón. So that's at least two guys. Hopefully they will get enough rest between uh, the repetitions because that, that is actually an issue because we only have six contestants. We have only six contestants and a rising bar deadlift. So the weight never goes down. Not in a t like in a typical powerlifting competition where the guys, you know, there are three rounds and every competitor finishes the first lift and then we go back down and do it again, up again. But here it's just rising bar all the way through the weight just increases. So if you're going for a 270 and 300, you do the 270 lift, and then shortly after you have to do the 300. Yeah, unfortunately for Sigurjón, he's gonna go for both uh, 270 and 300, and he's first up, so hopefully he gets uh, enough time to uh, recover and, and do the lift, because we know he wants that 300. Uh, a few other guys who's gonna possibly go for the 300 lift is uh, I mean, Hilmar, Christian Pauk. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting to see if Stefan Karel is going to start there because mm -hmm. we know his best lift is about, uh, what, 350? 350 or 60. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to start right about there, possibly skip the 20 and go for the 30 or mm -hmm. something and uh, increase in uh, 30 kilograms. But we can't help but mention, mention uh, Pauk Lawson, the square meter, mm -hmm. Fermetrin, yeah. the best deadlifter here. Yeah. Definitely by far. Yeah, I mean uh, 360 for uh, two repetition in, in the gym uh, a couple of weeks ago. He's in form, form uh, static monster. So it's going to be really fun to see him attack the bar with uh, the old Viking attitude. 360 two reps in the gym, and that's the weight that some guys are aiming for here to finish with. Yeah, I mean, and he did it for two reps in the gym. It's it's possible. We, we were doing the calculations uh, backstage before the stream, and, and I mean, it's possible that Christian Haralds could take second place with a 360 lift, mm -hmm. and uh, Paul Lawson was doing repetitions with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's a, it's a lot of weight, but uh, I mean, it's the quintessential strongman event. Uh, yeah. This this is the measure of a strongman's power. You wanna. Every time you meet the fellow strongman, how much do you deadlift? Yeah. It's not how much you bench. No, it's just how much do you deadlift. <laughs> Everybody wants to know that. It was, uh, it was of course, the bench press when we were all uh, aspiring, yeah, aspiring <laughs> uh, strength athletes. But, uh, I mean, uh, of course, the strategy coming into, into this event... Uh, if you're middle of the pack or, or maybe uh, you're Christian Jón and Stefan Karel, a lot of strategy goes into uh, like uh, figuring out which lift you mm -hmm. have. To, and, and of course, uh, those who know you, you're really methodical when you, when you think out yeah. the event. So, yeah. so the first lift should always be a lift that's solid. It just, you know, you're entering the competition. Mm -hmm. So you never want to fail the first lift. It's just maybe a 90, 95% max. And it should be yeah pretty solid. The second lift, uh, then you can push yourself a little, maybe 95 to 99, 100 percent max. And then the third lift, that's usually a PR, 100 to 105 percent max. Are we going to see a lot of guys here try to PR? I, we we're talking about Sigurjón. He's yeah. he's possibly going for that PR he attempt on 300. He wants that 300. Uh, the big 3-0. The big 3-0. It's a, it's a big lift for, uh, for everybody. It's a big milestone. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, uh, Christian Jón, I mean, he doesn't have to get a PR. I mean, we, we have to see how the event like uh, uh, spans out. But uh, if he has that 360 in the tank, 
it's it's possibly goes for that PR. Uh, Christian Paltl, he possibly wants that uh, 340. 340, yeah. It's been hanging over his head mm. for a long mm. time now. He has tried it uh, a lot in, in the gym. Hilmar, a client of yours. Yeah. Of course, you're, you're a private trainer. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my coach. Yeah. And S- Hilmar wants the 340 lift. He wants the 340 lift. He wants lift. the 340. What is his uh, best lift? So his best lift was, uh, he did it in st- the strongest newcomer, 300, but with no suit. And that was, a, no, 305, 305 kilos with okay. no suit. And that was, it looked like a warm-up lift. Okay. And that, that, that was just uh, enough for him to get the event win. Yeah. And now he's going to push himself. Push himself with the canvas suit yeah. and the straps, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to be fun to see if he, if he gets to... Uh, Hang with the big boys with uh, Stefan Karel and uh, and Paul and of course Stefan uh, Christian Haralds, excuse me. Stefan Karel, uh, hopefully going for that PR 360 possibly and mm-hmm. and pushing Christian Haralds for uh, for the win or the second place, excuse me. But uh, we're going to start the event in a, in a few minutes, so don't you worry. On the left side of your screen, you can see Aethor. Ingolson, Melstad, of course, those of you who uh, what's world's strongest man know this man because uh, he has made it to the final two years in a row now. Two years in a row. Tenth place first and ninth place this year. Yeah. So if he keeps that going, he's going to be world's strongest man in what, about eight years, nine yeah. years? Eight years. 2030. <laughs> <laughs> he's <been a laughs> he's going to be an old man. Possibly even older than Pot Lawson. <laughs> I don't think that is possible, though. No, I kid. I kid. But, uh, and uh, as we mentioned before, uh, Robert Rittweger, uh, the strongest newcomer of 2021. Of course, mm-hmm. uh, a nice competition to have to introduce the, the new people mm-hmm. of Iceland to uh, Strongman, the beautiful sport. Mm-hmm. We had what was it 15 new competitors last year no one had ever, ever done any strongman competition 15 and i think a lot of the guys dove right into strongman after that i mean th- that's uh, amazing because we have to protect that icelandic heritage because yeah. uh we have the most world strongest man uh medals or, or trophies yeah. per capita yeah <laughs> per capita <laughs> everything per capita <laughs> So uh, here we can see Pat Lawson with uh, the canvas suit and the figure eight straps going for, uh, is it 220 or 70? Isn't that, no, that's heavier. Isn't that uh, 320? No. Let's see how it moves. Oh, what was he doing? Is it 320? Uh, One, two, three, four, uh, five red plates, right? I can't see. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see. Sigurjón is the first competitor at 270 kilos. Yeah, it's 270. It's 270. Pat Lawson was uh, pulling 270 for the warm up. For a quarter rap. <laughs> for a, <laughs> not even a quarter rap. That was like one sixth of a rap. Sigurjón, a new to the sport. So Sigurjón, 270 kilos. <laughs> 270 kilos, struggling, yeah, struggling a little yeah, bit, a little but, bit grinder. but uh, a nice lift for Sigurjón, close to his PR, mm-hmm. but uh, nonetheless, getting uh, a good lift there. 300 kilos next. Head referee. Aethor Melstev. Gotta watch, uh, watch his hand go down to uh, allow the lift. So the guys, uh, the guys have to stand up with the lift, lock out the hips, lock out the knees, and yeah. look at the judge. You know, tell the judge, look at me, I got this. <laughs> so just let them go down then. 300 kilograms and uh, I believe Christian Pout is uh, the next one up. 
Tristan Paut, of course, was in uh, second to last in, uh, in the truck pool. And of course, we have uh, the Rogue deadlift bar. Christian Paltz is a very strong deadlifter. Yeah. This is triple body weight here for the first lift. Which is uh, <laughs> really, really good. Yeah. Canva suit and uh, straps. And he has to... Interesting, interesting how he does it. He does it like uh, Rano Heinle with, uh, with one leg. Yeah, like uh, puts it down to put the straps on and then he... Tucks the leg back in. Easy. Easy weight for uh, Christian Palt. Yeah, that's what a first lift should look like. Solid, easy, perfect. No doubt. Hilmar going for that 300 also. So he's going to put in some weight now. Hilmar has been having some trouble with his deadlift suit. Oh. It's been putting a lot of pressure on him. And he's, he's been, had been having difficulties to get into position. So he told me that if the first lift is a little bit off, then he's going to ditch the suit and do it raw. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. He's uh, wearing a metal multiply suit. We actually own this suit. It's a, it's a good suit. But uh, you can imagine it's like a car belt. Yeah. Made, made out of car belt. Tucking the hips down. Okay. Easy. Nice speed for no uh, Hilmar 300 in the book. So uh, I, I think he's going to keep the suit on. Yeah. Next athlete up uh, should be. Sigurjón again. Sigurjón trying for the 300. This is a new PR. No, no. 300 uh, not there. But he made the 270, so he gets one point. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're going up. Nobody else. Oh, wait. Who wants to do the three? Christian Haralds. Christian Haralds going for the 300 with one of his three lifts. This is interesting. Yeah, he maybe wants just to keep it very light and do a bigger jump. Yeah, possibly. I mean, he could do a, do a 30 or a, even a 40 mm. kilogram jump. He's really capable of that. I think this is going to be pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, the fastest we've seen so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's like an empty bar. Extremely good deadlifter. And uh, Christian Jón completing the 300. Now we jump to uh, 320 kilograms. Now all the big boys should begin. And we jump to 320. Are we going to see Stefan Karel or, or Paul I attempt think this? Stefan Karel. Paul might go for it. He did. There's half four. Half four. Ten time Iceland's strongest man in a row. Yeah, in a row. <laughs> Which is the the record and the record for the most consecutive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Paul was was trying out the 270. Yeah. He could join the two, uh, 320, then maybe jump to 350. Yeah. Maybe he's going for that 400 to it some strategic way. Jumping on red plates, like you say. Yeah. Christian Paul going for uh, 320. This should be also an easy lift for him. Uh, he's done this plenty of times for plenty of wraps. Mm -hmm. And you can see his belt placement. Uh, 
It's high. It's really high. Not as high as uh, some other athletes as that we've seen, like uh, Christian Sindri Nielsen. But uh, it's pretty high. He deadlifted uh, this weight for a couple of rough, couple of couple of sets just uh, some weeks ago, so this should be no issue for Christian Paul. And breaks the floor. Perfect. Good deadlift, and uh, he is in the lead. Yeah. Pat Lawson up next. Pat Lawson. Hopefully, I want to. I want to see him deadlift. Here he comes. You see, he's using those uh, figure eight straps. I believe it's uh, Pioneer. This should move really well, yeah. and it does. Lightning fast, easy lift for uh, Pat Lawson. Again, what a first lift should look like. Yeah, it's nice and easy, no issues. We are live worldwide now, so competitor be ready for the next lift. Now, if you're if you're Christian Jorn Haralds, and uh, I mean he's in the lead, he's uh, a front runner right now. Uh, is he thinking about the other lifts, or is he just thinking about I have to do this? I think. I think he's just going to do whatever what he has to do. Yeah. So if Palle does 400, I don't think he's going to chase him. Yeah. 320 for uh, Hilmar. This is a PR. This is a PR, yes. He's a newcomer for the sport. Ilmar. That's a very nice easy PR. Kind of too easy. Yeah. I think he has the 340 lift in him. Yeah, I, I believe I believe he does. If he grants it out. Stefan Karel going uh, for his first lift of the day. 320. Look at his pants, they're all white. That's baby powder, so the bar travels more smoothly yeah. on the pants. Stefan Karel likes to deadlift in uh, pants. Dipping his uh, hips real low and nice Easy. movement. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. So he, sh I mean, according to that lift, he should be capable of 360. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. he's gonna he's gonna push Chris and Haralds. Yeah. yeah. Then we might have to fight. Maybe Chris and Haralds will go for 370. We'll see. So we're going for 330 now. And we're uh, only one guy out. Zero and out. Zero and out. Who's going for that 330 lift? Is that the 330 jump? I mean, uh, Christian Jon did the 300. Mm -hmm. Could do the 330. And then uh, the 360. Yeah. 3.30 for Christian Jon Haraldsson. And this indicates that he wants that 3.60 lift. I think so, yeah. He's jumping on 30 kilograms. So he's not thinking about uh, what Stefan Karl is doing. He's just doing his own thing. And this should move easily. <laughs> and it does. Easy. Three forty. Three forty next. 
340 next, and that should that should be Christ, uh, Christian Paul Hilmar. I don't believe Stefan Karl is attempting that or Paul Lorazon. Hilmar wants this lift. He's yeah. been talking about the 340 lift for some time. So he's gonna he's gonna come out and try this and also Christian Paul. He's been chasing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. So they're the two main guys who are gonna do uh, the 340 lift. Don't believe again if Stefan Karol or Paul Lawson. It's a, it's a bit too mm -hmm. close to their other attempts to go for uh, 340. Christian Pot has actually been talking about this weight for maybe two years. Yes. So if he gets this now, he should be very happy. He should, uh, yeah, <laughs> he should be really, really happy. We're going to see a smile on his face yeah. at least. Tightening the deadlift suit. Focused with his uh, trainer, Bjatni, Icelandic strength coach. He's going to go for that 340. I mean, you've done this uh, plenty of times, but going into that PR, it's a stressful time. Yeah, you, you, you're almost scared. Your heart rate is up. Almost fight or flight. Yeah. Tucking the suit in, strapping to the bar. He wants this. This is his third, third, yeah, third and last lift. He has yeah. to get this. Has secured the 320, but he wants that 340. You are watching live Come on, Christian Pot. No. No. A little too much. Not today. But a uh, nice effort. Hilmar up next. But we could mention uh, that uh, it was a short time between the lifts. Yeah. And that is always an issue. That's definitely a factor. Hilmar in the canvas suit. Belt down, underbelt also. Getting ready. Chucking up. Palme behind him, another client of mine and his training partner. It's almost like you're training all of us. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys both started at the same time at around the start of this year. I'm sure this is a personal record. Inhaling some ammonia. 340 lift. This is a huge PR. A 35 kilogram yeah. PR in the deadlift. In under like one and a half month. Would be amazing to see him lift I this. I really want to see him lift this. We've been aiming for this. Turn Come on, Hilmar. Hips down, starting in the lift. Oh, it's just easy. Really oh, fast. Wait. Hits it in, and he finishes uh. it. Aether gives it <laughs> a 35 <laughs> kilogram PR that for Hilmar. That is huge. And that Look is a friends. lot. All of them super happy for him. A lot of uh, points for Hilmar there yeah. in the deadlift. He's aiming for a podium finish. The front runners for the podium, at least in my opinion, mm -hmm. is uh, Christian Jon Harald, Stefan Karan, and Paul Lawson. Yeah, but yeah. this is definitely a good way to show that you're you're there to fight. Mm -hmm. 350 up next, Stefan Karel. Yeah, that that should be Stefan Karel and uh, Christian Jon, possibly going for the 360. And he's going to watch and see what uh, Stefan Karel is going to do on this lift. Yeah, 
That is a lot of red plates. Stefan Karel getting psyched up. 350 on the bar. The crowd loves this guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a crowd favorite. Yeah. Always been. Always has been. An entertainer. There we go. 350 for Stefan Karel. Come on. Hips low. Pulling it. And it looks really nicely. Yes. Let me see. And some showmanship in the end. <laughs> so he might go 370. He could do that. That would definitely push uh, Christian Haraldsson mm -hmm. to uh, possibly third place. We haven't yet seen Pot Lawson. He did the 320. Yep. 360 up next. 360 sounds like something that uh, Pot Lawson would do. On the mic, of course, Kjalti Ussus, uh, strongman legend mm -hmm. in Iceland and, of course, in the, in the strongman community. Trained with Jon Pot. Trained with Jon Pot. Multiple time pole team finisher in, uh, in uh, Iceland's strongest man. Uh, Competed in uh, World's Strongest Man. Absolute legend. Was a powerlifter for a yeah. long time. 360, Christian. Christian Jon Haraldsson. Christian Jon usually uses figure eight straps, but he's not using them now. Interesting. I wonder why. 360. Last lift. He is the leader of the competition. The youngest guy. I think this is going to be a pretty fresh lift. Yeah. Good lift. He has more in him. 360, but he finished all his three lifts, so oh. he's out. Yeah, he started with the 300. Yeah. So he, he measured out what he had to do, and now it's on Stefan Karel to yeah. achieve that second place. I mean, we say second place, but... So Stefan Karel could... Go for the 370 and beat Christian or be safe with the 360 and split the points. Yeah. But I know he doesn't want to split the points. Pot Lawson getting himself ready. That means 370. He's going to go for a 370 kilograms. So, so that means Stefan Karel is also going for it. He's going for the PR. Yeah. He's going for the PR for uh, for first place. I wonder if he get to see the 400 lift. I mean, he's going. Uh, Pult is going for the 370. This is his second attempt. Second attempt. He's going jumping 50 kilograms, and then jumping possibly 30 kil kilograms be. for the 400 because he has only done one attempt. This is his second attempt. 370 for Pult Lawson. Strapping himself to the bar. A lot of static power in that body. And there we go. Oh, 370. That's easy. Looking beautiful for Pat Lawson. I really hope he goes for that 400. I mean, Pat Lawson has been out of the game for. I mean, eight six, years. Eight, seven, eight years, yeah. <laughs> Stefan Karel getting a little bit of downtime between lifts here. 370. 375. 375. <laughs> Three seventy five loaded on the bar. Three seventy five, that is uh, for 
Stefán Karel Torvason. This is a PR for Stefán Karel. 375, Stefán Karel. Stefán Karel has uh, 360 in his PR, so he's going for a 15 kilogram PR round right now. I'm pretty confident he gets this. Yeah, I, I mean, his, uh, his 350 lift was yeah, really smooth. fast. Yeah. His lockout was a little bit like shaking, but I mean, he finished it really easily, so. And 15 kilogram jump. Free admission for everyone. This will put Stefan Karel in first place in the deadlift. 375 kilograms. Come on, we want to see this. This is a really important victory. Big points. Stefan Karel strapping himself to the bar. Has to put everything into this. Hips low. And there we go. Pulling. No. Low. Something up. Not today, says Hjaltiusus. It looked like he slipped or something. Yeah, he just he just quit. Yeah. I mean, a 15 kilogram uh, <laughs> increase in your PR is, is a lot. Especially at this weight. Yeah. You're fighting for every kilogram now. This puts uh, Pat Loason in uh, first place. Stefan Karel is in uh, third place, I believe. He did the 350. Yeah. Christian Harald's 360. 360 did in Chelsea say 400 kilos. I did not hear it, but we want to see it. Pat Lorson still one lift to go. So Yellow plate, 400 kilos. 400 kilograms on the bar. This puts him in the absolute elite Icelandic strongman. Only two strongmen have finished 400 kilograms. Three Icelanders, I believe. And there have been myself and Oscar have been fighting for this 400 kilogram deadlift. Then out of the uh, blue, yeah. Pat Loason coming, <laughs> channeling all of his Viking strength. He's going to slap me and Oscar in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Old man power for Pat Loason, the square meter, strapping himself to the bar. Has to put everything into this lift. Come on. Here we go. Pout up. Pulling it up. Oh. Oh. Got it off the ground. Just above his knees, but uh, to no avail. A really good attempt by Pout Lawson, but the winner for the deadlift, Pout Lawson. Beautiful, beautiful event. I always enjoy the deadlifts. Uh, and, uh, it's my favorite, my favorite event. I mean, it really does help that uh, that you are really good at the deadlifts. <laughs> but uh, both performing it and 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 watching it, it's 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 definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the next event is the forward hold. We're gonna have a few interviews uh, of the winner of the event, Pat Lorson. Uh, Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna get to know about the 400 lift that uh, that he attempted. But uh, then again, at uh, 16:30 Greenwich Main Time, the forward hold a little bit of a interesting event. It hasn't been done for a really long time. Three years, three or four years, yeah. I think. And that's just a fight about how much you can suffer. Yeah, you just have to hold. I believe experience is gonna gonna be a lot yeah. there, but uh, hopefully we're gonna hear from uh, Pat Lorson in a, in a few minutes. Uh, a lot of interviews mm -hmm. for uh, for 
Icelandic national television. Yeah. Of course, this event brought it, broadcast it uh, on YouTube and uh, on other places. Uh, but also, it's uh, it's a show produced for Icelandic television because Strongman is extremely popular here yeah, in Iceland. It is. Yes, as we've talked about uh, today, it's it's uh, one of the one of the sports that we are best in the world mm. at per capita, always per capita. But I mean, we have we have three diff different winners, of course. Uh, nine total wins. Yeah, nine total wins, three different winners. Jon Potsimos on Magnus Ver, Magnusson and uh, and uh, Hafthor Julius Björsson uh, most recently. And uh, I mean, we won tons and tons of events. If you just look up the the all of the different accolades those different three athletes have mm -hmm. achieved in their careers and it's uh, just amazing. amazing and we also see. have Hafthor in the crowd which has the world record deadlift. Yeah, 501. Five, 501. I had the pleasure of uh, being there when it was done and it was just uh, amazing, yeah. amazing to see. Unbelievable. You see him there in the background and uh, with his father Björn or Björsi as we call him And uh, both of them organizing the event that we see here. And uh, Sigurjón grabbing up two points now in mm. uh, second place, I believe. Uh, in in uh, fifth place, sorry, is uh, Christian Paul with uh, with a three twenty lift. Yep. Am I right? Yeah. And. Uh, then we saw Hilmar with uh, 340. 340, and he's equal to Stefan Karel, right? So they split points. No, Stefan Karel did the 360. Ah, he did the 350. 350. 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in in second place, uh, Christian Jón Haraldsson with the 360 left, and uh, of course winning Paul Lawson. With uh, 370. And we're going to hear from the winner of the event, Pot Lorazon. Oh, Christian Young. Yes, this is going according to the plan. I knew that 360 would uh, get me second place. So I'm happy to get that. Is it the best deadlift you have done 360 or in competition? Yes. Yeah. So what about the upcoming events like the battery hold, the forward hold, and the last event today? You, you don't know what's going to happen. No, the forward hold is just it, anything can happen in that. But with all those muscles, you just make them work, you will be fine. <laughs> yes, I guess so. Congratulations for, for, a, for a very well done competition so far. Thank you. Christian Jón uh, Haraldsson there, talking about, he, I mean, he's in the lead. He has, uh, I believe, 11 points now, got five points for, for the deadlift and six points for the truck pull, so yep. he's in the lead. Yep. And uh, it's between Stefan Karel and Pat Lawson. I believe they are joint second. Uh, or what? I have, to, I have to check out the before the front hold, how it's going to stack up there some calculations some calculations in between events of course the next uh, next event is uh, at 16:30 in uh, Kveragerði the next town town to uh, self the forward told it's a it's a battery i believe so mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see we have some interesting ideas how that's going to how that's going to uh, pan out it could be anyone's win i mean we haven't seen it for so many years. No, nobody has trained it. No, I think the guys have tried it just a couple of times yeah. in the gym, just to get get the feeling of it. Yeah, you were saying at least uh, it's about metal fortitude yeah. and just and uh, as I was saying, the forward hold at 16:30 or 4:30 uh, agreements main time forward hold. We'll see you all then. Thank you so much.
You like my beard? So do I. CartagesOfTheBeardStruggle.com This is right. It's more than just total body fuel. It's total push yourself beyond the limits fuel. It's total you got this, ain't nothing gonna hold you back fuel. From nine to five or five to nine, it's more than a pick me up. It's a jump start your day, get me through the night, kicking the can. With all the goods your body needs to crush your goals so you can focus, boost, hydrate, and recover. This is Rain, total body fuel. It's not Jungpust, it's scare. You count it all. The reps, your grit, the grind, your belief, the dose. Focusing on what matters. Knowing that you must squeeze the most from every day, every step, and every moment. Make it count.
since he started using the Beard Struggle products, he he's starting to believe he's an actual Viking. Yeah, this one's my favorite. It reminds me of my first raid. You've been in there for an hour. Go away. Hey, hey, you want you you, you want to be a Viking? Try this out. So this is an interview. And. Thorskir have less lactose than yogurt. Thorskir goes through ultra filtration, giving it more protein and less lactose than Greek yogurt, making it easier on the stomach. I should know, I used to eat two and a half pounds of skir a day. Welcome again, beautiful Kveragerði, Iceland's strongest man again, the last event of the day, it's the forward hold, and uh, with me, Thomas Darri, and uh, it was an, it's, it's an interesting event we're going to see here, we haven't seen this for a while, No. so uh, it's kind of a wild card event, we don't really know who are the favorites here because as you can see there the the battery and and uh, if we go through the rules you have to pick it up and you have to uh, hold it in front of you uh, with your hands firmly uh, like locked out and yeah. uh, you can't uh, drop it down and uh, bend your elbows or or the head referee, Eithor Melstead, would call the time. And, of course, it's a timed event, so uh, the highest time will win it. And uh, we just uh, went through the first two events, the deadlift and the truck pull. Well and uh, leading now the, uh, the whole event is uh, Christian Jón Haraldsson. First place, 11 points. 11 points. Joint second, Stefan Karel and Paul Loason with 10 points so it's uh, only one point between those uh, two and Hilmar in fourth with six points so a little bit of a gap now mm -hmm. uh, with five events now uh, remaining so uh, he has plenty of time to make it up but I mean uh, this is uh, this is an event that that Anybody could, uh, yeah, could snatch uh, the win here. Yeah, anybody else win. I mean, uh, Sigurjón in, in last place now, Sake, uh, with two points, finished uh, last in the truck pool and, and got the 270 deadlift in uh, fifth place, Christian Pautl. And uh, he's with uh, four points. And then... Uh, we have Hilmar in uh, fourth place, and then joint second, uh, Paul Loason and Stefan Karel first place, uh, Christian Jón Haraldsson. Here we have the head referee, Eithor Ingolson Melstead, explaining how he wants the athletes to perform here. As you can see, indicating that he wants uh, locked out elbows at all times, and if they drop the battery, too low, uh, and uh, it's game over. But we could go over a few different things that athletes could do because, uh, I mean, we've heard a lot of, like, uh, big loss, Lawrence Shalley. Mm. He talks a lot about, uh, especially in this, he, 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 he especially mentions this event when uh, you should spend your t entire time and just keep going unless the referee like stops the time mm -hmm. you, you don't mm -hmm. quit yeah. by yourself un unless 
you uh, absolutely have to so it's uh, it's definitely as we were mentioning before it's mind over matter yeah you just don't give up don't give up uh, mental fortitude those are the key factors but also the bigger guys with uh, the bigger forearms the bigger shoulders they require more oxygen the body is a bit more in front of them well we're gonna start well, very very soon uh, they the rest their back up against the Sigurion truck there Sigurion having uh, pulled 270 and in last place in the last event starts this event it's a timed event so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much time he gets here Twenty-five kilos. Twenty-five kilos. Very. I mean, it's not a lot of weight, but no, it's. But in this position, it's hard. Yeah, it's really, really hard. I, I would suggest that people try it out in their gyms. Just pick up a red plate. Yeah. Hold, it, hold in it in front, in front of, of you. <laughs> time it. And uh, put it up against the time these uh, these guys have. I believe uh, they have to pick it up by themselves. Okay, the first competitor, please. No, oh, okay. it will be handed to them the into position. And when they let go, the timer starts. The clock has started. Come on. Eithor Melstev watching, and then you can see beginning to shake a little got to go into <laughs> your safe place, yeah. if you will. <laughs> Don't know if you heard, but uh, Hjalti Us is talking about this being a classic strong mini event. It is. It was, it was really, really popular, you could say, in the olden days. Yeah. But it was like re reused now in World Strongest Man 2020 or 21, I believe, in Sacramento. And Eitho Melstev did a tremendous job there. They were holding, a, what was it, like a pickaxe or something. Yep. Old Western. Beautiful. In the, in the old days, they used to ho hold swords out in front of them. Yeah. Pointed it to forward. Yeah. Uh, there was a head-to-head -head actually with two swords and you had to hold it up against your uh, <laughs> your opponent if you will and, and and one time there was a team effort yeah two guys holding a sword and there was a plate <laughs> with a wine glass on it yeah <laughs> that was amazing the cool good old days next up Christian Paul Arnason Not the most experienced one, but he has a lot of uh, experience. I think he can squeeze out some time here. Yeah, he could possibly do a uh, really good time here, but he's starting to shake a lot. I believe he will close his eyes at some some point and just go into his uh, into his mind. Out of body experience. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, just have to hold on through the suffering. And this is truly grueling. Yeah. Yeah, about uh, 30 to 35 seconds. I want to get the official tally before I tally up the points, the total points that come from this event. But next up, Hilmar. Hilmar. Having a really good show now in uh, fourth place, six points. Could do really well here. He wants to use the belt and uh, and the wrist wraps. So Hilmar has really long arms. Yeah, that this could be difficult for him. That is not going to help. No. Want to have short arms, small shoulders, no oxygen effort. Basically, you want to have it as close to your body as possible, but 
with long arms of course that's not possible looking good breathing well now it's starting to yeah. shake that's never a good sign now, now the battle begins oh look at his face <laughs> Putting some Icelandic anti into it. <laughs> Next up should be Stefan Karel since he was in uh, third place in the deadlift with uh, 350 kilograms. I believe Hilmar could be in last or second last here. Here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now. Don't have the uh, official times yet. I think Stefan Karel has even longer arms than Hilmar. Yeah, I mean, uh, Stefan Karel, of course, the tallest athlete here, mm -hmm. but he's using every every advantage he can take. He's bending the, the wrists. But he's already starting to shake. It's a grueling event on the on the total body it's not it's not a hard event but it definitely takes a lot of your mind a lot of mind effort okay it looks good looks really good starting to uh, suffer now but grabbing a good time here yep. has to hold and uh, gives up Straining on the shoulder, as you mm. can see, grabbing the shoulder, but should be fine before the overhead medley tomorrow. Stefan Karel, possibly with the longest time. Christian Haralds with 11 points in the lead now, so he has to uh, put in a good effort here to... Uh, Keep his lead, wrist wraps on, belt on, and here we go. Strong position, legs wide apart. Christian really wants this win to keep his position in the overall score. But he's already Definitely. starting to show shake. Breathing steadily. Yeah. Lowers it a little bit. Has to hold out. Has to have a good time here. Struggling a little bit now. I want to get the official tally before I tell anything, but I believe Stefan Karel won that one. Uh, in in so. the head to head between now them, the the Pat Lorazon, the only man with gloves. Yeah, kilos. again, used the gloves in the truck pull, but maybe that little bit of extra grip is going to help him. Starting to shake already. I mean, he definitely has the most, like, mass yeah, yeah, yeah. on himself. Has really big shoulders, has shorter arms, but, I mean, starting to shake, but here, experience is going to play a big part. Starting to suffer. And now he just has to survive. Happy place for uh, Pat Lawson, obviously. And there. Pat Lawson. Possibly second best time. Chelsea so says. So it's just waiting for the official results. I want to hear the official result before I <laughs> tell you anything, but according to my eyes, I believe uh, Stefan Karel yeah, is the winner here. I think so. 
Stefan Karel won the yep, event. Stefan Karel won the event. Stefan Karel with the win. Six points for him. So that helps him out tremendously. I think he said Paul Lohr on second and Christian Jon Harald's third. Ooh, they... It's going to be interesting. So that's a bit of a disappointing, disappointing result for uh, Christian Jon Harald. So he loses his first place. Ends up with uh, 15 points here. Stefan Karel. A new leader with 16 points. 16 points, new leader. And uh, joint second now, Paul and Christian Haralds with 15 points each. So it's, uh, it's a tight race. Yep. And you can see reigning songs man. As a strongest man and uh, ten times strongest man, Hafthor Julius Björnsson. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, we have four events uh, coming up tomorrow. It's it's the yoke, it's the overhead medley. And uh, we also have uh, natural, natural stones. stones. And the fourth event is the throwing medley, classic Icelandic uh, event. We have it almost in every single one <laughs> in Iceland. So, uh, I mean, Stefan Karel and Christian Orn Haralds, of course. Both uh, very good throwers. Yeah. Uh, Hilmar. Hilmar also, yes, yes. Tremendous thrower. So we aren't even halfway through. No, only three events done and uh, seven. Yeah, seven in total. Four to go. We start with a yoke tomorrow, and uh, that's going to be really interesting. Four hundred kilogram yoke. Yeah, four hundred kilogram yoke. Uh, I've seen Christian Harald's almost run with it in the gym. <laughs> he's a he's a really fast. Uh, uh, he's really fast with the yoke. Stefan Karel also, so they're going to race. Yeah, it's going to be a really, really nice race. And it's going to be between uh, Stefan Karel and Pout. They're going to go last if if it's a, if it's a head-to-head. -head. I believe it's not a head-to-head. -head no, I think it's just one guy at a time. Yeah, one guy at a time. I quite enjoy the head-to-head, -head though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we only have one yoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> only, it's only a one yoke. We're going to have an uh, interview with, uh, hopefully, Christian Jón Christian and uh, Paul Tlóason. It's going to be fun to hear. Paul Tlóason, second place in the forward hold. First place in the deadlift. Uh, Palli, uh, good results in this event for you, or, or did you want to win it? I wanted to win, but uh, I was missing about two seconds. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to live with that. Uh, overall performances in the competition, you happy with it? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the truck pull went better than I expected because of a minor injury in my leg. So uh, I was happy with that. Uh, happy with the win in, in the deadlift and I wanted to win here, but uh, Stefan Karl is hard to beat. Christian, very good competition so far for you, from you. Uh, three of you uh, share the first place now. So, are you looking forward for tomorrow? Yes, it's going to be a real battle tomorrow. I can't wait. Any, any bad events for you tomorrow? No. Any good events? Yes, everyone. For you too, good events for tomorrow? Uh, yes, very good. Very good. Congratulations, boys. Very well done. Thank you. And there we have it. Uh, Paul Lozon and uh, Christian Jon Haralds really happy uh, with uh, their performance today and looking forward, obviously, to mm -hmm. the the last day or, or the second day of the event. Four events uh, tomorrow. And as we're, uh, we, we're, we're going to start with the yoke, we're going to do the pressing medley, I believe. There's a stone overhead. 
Yeah, one two, stone overhead. Two and dumbbells. Two dumbbells. One one uh, Thomas Inns. One Thomas Inns and one uh, Rogue Giant Dumbbell, which is 90 kilograms. Then we have the 140 kilogram mm -hmm. Rogue uh, uh, Lock Lift. And then we have uh, the Cactus, the Cactus Medley. And uh, that's going to be really interesting, especially with uh, three really good throwers in, in the... In the with the athletes, and uh, then we have the natural stone loading all the way up to 212 kilos. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of stone, Thomas. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of stone. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome tomorrow. We're gonna be in Reifetlin in uh, Vivital. We're gonna start out at uh, at uh, five o'clock Greenwich main time, and in the meantime, have a good one. Thank you for the day. Thank you. Since he started using the Beard Struggle products, he he's starting to believe he's an actual Viking. Yeah, this one's my favorite. It reminds me of my first raid. You've been in there for an hour. Go away. Hey, hey, you want you you, you want to be a Viking? Try this out. So this is an interview. And. Skier have less lactose than yogurt. Thor's skier goes through ultra filtration, giving it more protein and less lactose than Greek yogurt, making it easier on the stomach. I should know, I used to eat two and a half pounds of skier a day.